we're with Jason Danley, who's going to be at Einstein's 54 Below Win. September 18th to the 21st. And what will your show be about? Um, it's called A Heart to Heart. Um, my late wife, Marin, and I were scheduled to be here in 2018 to do a show that we were calling Heart to Heart. And it was sort of... Um, Rogers and Heart? No. It just... <laughs> our own hearts about ah. love so it was sort of chronicling through song uh, our 21 years of marriage so I took that as a jumping off point I'm using several of the arrangements from that show and this show is called a heart to heart to have a, a heart to heart with the audience about um, the love that I still have but shared with my wife Marin and uh, and the journey that I've continued on now almost a year after she passed what is your favorite song from that show and why? There's, I love them all because it's so brand new. I love them all. I'm, today I'm singing uh, Young and Foolish, um, which is an old standard that um, I think it kind of sums it up. You know, um, uh, why is it wrong to be young and foolish? We haven't longed to be. Um, soon enough, the carefree days, the sunlit days go by. Um, so it's sort of a, a cathartic uh, a reflection on, on missing uh, more. They say that eyes are the windows to the soul, but I think songs are. Mm. So if you had to choose a song or song cycle that describes who you are, what would that be? A song or a song cycle? <laughs> In other words, a collaborative song. A body of work? Yes. Uh -huh. Well. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, Stephen Sondheim. Uh, Marin and I did a, a Sondheim suite on, on our album, and it start, starts with uh, happiness from passion, good thing going from merrily we roll along, um, and continues on. It's a five-song cycle, actually, uh, of a relationship. And I, we have a DVD and a CD coming out of our last performance here at 54 Below in uh, October. Uh, called Broadway and Beyond, and that is on that. So I've been listening to it a lot, and um, it, it kind of tells one where I am right now, not necessarily who I am uh, on the total, but uh, yeah. You just finished Pretty Woman. What's up next for you besides being at Einstein's 54 Below? I'm taking the rest of the year off. I have been going, going, going as a, a cancer caregiver for four years, um, then caring for our miniature schnauzer who I lost in March. Uh, I moved uh, apartments, so I've done the three most stressful things to happen in one's life and I haven't had a chance to take care of myself. So I went to India for most of July and uh, went on a bit of pil spiritual pilgrimage and I'm gonna do that same thing but here in the States to visit friends and family that I haven't had a chance to spend time with. And what advice would you give to people that have gone through as much loss as you have? Take it one moment at a time because it's overwhelming. Um, it's hard to remember the good times when everything is so difficult. Uh, and uh, knowing that it will eventually clear out a little bit and give you a little breathing space is good. But go at your own pace and take care of yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. If, if there's anyone who should be worrying about anyone, let your friends and your family worry about you. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs>